Hi, it's Diane. I'm trying to do a quick video showing you two books. This is my third attempt, so hopefully I get it right this time. Someone asked me to do a couple of baby books to put in the shop, and um, I didn't have a lot of baby supplies, but I, I didn't want to go buy more, so I just used what I had, and I think they turned out pretty good. Uh, I used old book covers for the books, and they're approximately 8.5 by 8.5, something like that. Both of them are about the same size. This is from the Saturday af or Sunday afternoon paper from DCWV. This is cut from the Cricut Pretty Penance um, cartridge. And these letters are cut from the Storybook cartridge. This is just a strip of white cardstock that I use my Martha Stewart border punch on. And then these are some dimensional stickers. Of course, this is the Baby Boy book. I use that paper with a little stuffed animal mobile as the end paper. This is a shaped paper that I had to cut to fit. And I, you'll see the other section, the, the bottom part, that I used as a pocket. This says it's a boy, and then it has spaces to write all the st statistics. And you can probably tell I'm holding my camera in my hand this time, because I didn't feel like attaching it to my, my stand, because it takes me a long time to do that. This pa paper looks like it has some frames on it. Paper with a little teddy bear tucked in a blanket. This is a Richard Scarry storybook page, an old one. And I used a strip of paper, at, um, zigzag stitched it on there. And then there was a little tear in the paper, so I punched this out with my Stampin' Up! punch and glued that there. So it's on both sides. Adds a cute little touch. This has a sticker on it that says New Baby, photo mat, and some block stickers. Another photo mat and a sticker there to write in. Some green plaid some safety pins. This one has white paper, so I stamped on it. Precious baby boy. Some polka dots. And I cut this sheet in half. It has the moon and stars on it. And then I used some tabs on each one. And in between, I put this little nursery rhyme page. It says lullaby. Oh, lullaby. And I put this cute little striped paper clip and some washi tape. And this one has a train cut with a gingerbread cartridge from Cricut. And I don't even know that that must be um it's a it's a little boy cartridge that my daughter has. I borrowed it from her and cut some things out a while ago. That one just has a cute little christening outfit on it. This is from Sunday afternoon also. These are some six by six pages and I put some tabs on them. And this plaid page, I used a shipping tag and stamped photo record and decorated it with that little scrap of paper. This sheet had just cloudy sky. It's polka dots. Here's the bottom of that shaped page, and I glued it on with my Scotch quick dry adhesive to make a pocket. And then I had used some leftover paper a while ago and cut these tags with the Cricut and I put lined paper on the back of them and used Baker's twine. Some little duckies there, some little babies there. Washi tape around the edges of this as it was a thin piece of paper glued to the back of this one. It's got a little train sticker. This is a nursery rhyme book that I cut out what are little boys made of. And put a, another tag cut with the Cricut. This one has an envelope with some stickers on it, and inside are some cutouts that came in a little tablet, and so they were punch-outs, actually. And I punched, out, punched them all out and put some of the boy ones in here and the girl ones in the other book. There's some footprints there. This one was a, like a circus-themed paper, and I made a pocket out of the piece that I had to cut off and I glued this little elephant on that I made with the Cricut. There's another tag made with the Cricut and another striped paper clip. This one has some little duckies on it. This one was a DCWV traveling tablet um, pad, but I thought that little cute airplane was cute for a little baby boy. And then I used the Stampin' Up! Argyle paper and another little plain tag up there. This one has a shipping tag I stamped that on it and then decorated it with washi tape and a little star cut with my Cricut and a B block from the Cricut and a sailboat cut with the Cricut. A 
this one has a little pair of baby shoes on it and it says precious this is the authentic um, paper that looks like denim I had some pieces left over from that <clears throat> excuse me so I thought that was cute for a baby boy and this is from the same tablet too or the same collection and I cut out that monkey and leaves from the Cricut this one has some little buttons in the corners stickers this is a polka dot library tag and this says it's a boy it was too large to fit in the envelope so I just tucked it in here and there's a library tag that, or library card that I stamped on and decorated that with some cutouts and the baby girl book these letters were cut with um, Cindy Lou cartridge and this is from it's a party the life's a party I'm sorry and then I had some Prima cream colored flowers that I rubbed on my yellow stamp pad and then spritzed with water to kind of blend it and put on these little sparkly things and some little red flowers for the centers and to scatter around <clears throat> this is from a K and Company tag tag pad that you'll see there it was a baby girl theme so you'll see some of those somebody had given these to me here's another one and this is a tablet that's shaped like this and it's long I had to cut the top off of it and but I thought the numbers were cute for a baby girl or for a baby book and this little strip I added says 50% mom 50% dad 100% perfect I'll put that on the back this is from K and Company cut and paste paper, and this looks like a an old baby book that people used to write in, and it has a place to write information. And I added this little cutout. There's the back of it, very pretty. Then I have some purple paper with little hearts, and this is cut from the Cricut Pretty Pennant cartridge, and I decorated it up and cut these out of. Well, this one came out of scrapbook paper made a tag out of it and backed it and then this is from the K and Company tag pad and it's got baker's twine it's hard to turn the pages one-handed okay then this one I used um, scrapbook paper little heart shape heart design scrapbook paper to make photo mats. I put this little cutout on it of the shoe and some leftover ledger paper and there's from a K and Company tablet that is just this size and I just cut off the top of it where it was bound, wire bound in and I added this little metal tab with a heart and this cutout. Oops, my lens cap keeps getting in the way. And then another photo mat here and some stickers. This page says, a home gets happier by the minute when there's a baby girl within it. It's foiled roses. Cute little teddy bear in a diaper. This one has a kangaroo with a baby in the pocket and some safety pins, diaper pins. It's another shipping tag stamped and decorated with a scrap of paper. This is from a nursery rhyme book. Little Bo Peep. And on the back, I use my Big Shot to make photo mats. And here we have Piece of Graphic 45 Playtime paper. It has nursery rhyme songs on it. And then I made another little either photo mat or journaling spot there. Another piece of the Kane Company tablet with another little metal tab and some stickers. This is Bow Bunny paper, another shipping tag and decorated with washi tape and stamped. It's from the Little Miss paper. Here is a uh, paper that was white on the back, so I stamped Sweet Baby Girl. And it was a circus theme paper with a little lady on the horse. And I used the other part of this paper to make a pocket over on this side. This is pretty Stampin' Up! paper here. This tag I cut with my picturesque cartridge has a lot of pretty tags on that cartridge. And then this one I cut with scrapbook paper and backed it. A little scrap of gingham on the bottom. And then a couple of tags from the K and Company tag pad. Then this was a sheet that I could cut apart and it has a growth chart 
here and then the other part of it I put over here onto this K and Company paper. And here's the envelope I put in the little girl book. It's a pretty pink pearlized envelope and it has more cutouts in there with some decorations on it. This paper is cute. Here's an 8x8 with a tab that I added. Another 8x8. And a piece of Prima ledger paper with these little girls sitting in a tree. Kate Greenaway looking little girls. This is from the paper that I cut the growth chart strip off of. It's, it's from Authentique. It has little the baby kangaroo and some other baby animals. And I edge punched it. I folded it in half to make a little book. And it has photo mat inside with that cut into the, or glued into the corner and some more. All cut out from that Authentique paper. This is from Emma's shop. Looks like a row of little girls books. And then this is from the Bow Bunny Little Miss. And I used that scrap as a photo mat and this one as a pocket. And here's um, the What Are Little Girls Made Of piece from the Nursery Rhyme book. Here's a scrap of that paper that I cut into a tag shape and used a piece of seam binding. And then a piece of that K and Company part that I had to cut off. That was in the beginning of the book. We're almost done here. Here's a piece of the Little Miss Bow Bunny paper. Tiny fingers, tiny toes, tiny little button nose. This was cut from the Authentique paper. And then this one, I think this is the K and Company. Yeah, this is K and Company Playtime and I made photo mats on it, decorated it with some more of the Authentique. Little paper doll dresses. And this is a sheet of my mind's eye. It's supposed to be put into a, one of their little binders because it has the holes there. But I just used it as it is and bound it in and cut this from the authentic baby paper. And then the paper, the picture frame paper I used as an end paper on this one. So those are the two baby books. Tell me what you think and thanks for watching. Bye.